Hi, everyone. My name is Kimmy. I am back with Capital Presence, and this is what we call our Now 365, where we dig into the Microsoft Admin Center and we pick out uh, some items, some updates that we deem um, informative and that could help your day. So let's dig right in to see what we're talking about today. And as you know, many of you know all about the emojis, especially on our iPhones, Androids. It's the very easiest way to send a reply quickly, especially in these busy days, uh, every single day that our life seems to be getting filled with more and more things. And of course, the more access or availability you have to things, it's easier to get looped into things. So emojis are perfect for that. Microsoft calls them reactions, and that is what they are pushing out, and that is through Outlook, so reactions to email messages. With reactions in Outlook, you can now react to an email message sent from someone in the same tenant without having to send a reply email. Show your appreciation and empathy with one click or a tap. Users will see a reaction icon, which, as we know, an uh, emoji, a face, in a message for any messages sent from someone inside the same tenant. Like I said, that is key. It's not external. They can hover over or tap it to see all of the possible reactions to select from. Reactions will also send a digest email to a user who received any reactions. So the reactions in Outlook allows you to react with one of six possible ways. Thumbs up heart, celebrate, laugh, surprise, sad, very similar to the same ones that you see in Microsoft Teams. So if you are uh, familiar with those and if you use those often, it's going to be the same format in the email messages. When you click on the reaction, everyone in the email thread, same as Microsoft Teams, will see that who has received the email and they will be able to see the reaction as long as they are a part of the same tenant. The sender of the email will receive a notification of any reactions in their notifications feed, giving them a quick glimpse. Quick is the best. We don't need to spend time to do things a little bit longer than they have to. So to prepare Outlook for iOS, Android, uh, Mac, Windows, rollout is expected to begin in mid-October and is expected to be completed by late October. And then the classic outlook for Windows rollout is expected to begin in mid-October and is expected to be completed by late December. There is nothing that you need to do except get excited for this. And again, this is all internal. If you're concerned on um, your team members sending things externally with emojis, if you think that's unprofessional, that's okay. That's not going to be an issue this is from the same tenant. Any questions, feel free to reach out to us. And of course, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and find us on all social media platforms. I hope you have a great day, everyone. Thank you. Hey there, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications for all the latest videos from Capital Presence.